Now, if I have two loans, can I still do a short sale? Great question, because a lot of people during the refinance boom, refinance, took out a second mortgage. Is it possible to do a short sale? The answer is yes. Yes, it is. Is it more difficult? Absolutely. I mean, if you're thinking about it, let's say, for example, your house is worth 100000 you have a buck twenty-five on the first and another seventy-five on the second. What's the second going to get in a short sale? The shaft. <laughs> really, there's nothing to give them. Because if I'm the buyer, I'm going in and saying, I'm going to offer 100000 Well, who comes first? The first mortgage. The second mortgage is superfluous. They're not even in my consideration, but for the fact that they have a lien it's a cloud on the title which has to be satisfied. So we are going to have to throw them a bone somewhere, 1000 1500 bucks, to make them go away, make them sign the papers to lift it and come after, you know, get rid of it so that we can close the deal. So in our firm, we've closed many deals for individuals who've had two mortgages on the property. It's more time intensive and there's a lot more, there's a lot more details to work out. Can it be done? Yes. Is it going to take some time? Of course it's going to take time. The second mortgages are never happy that they're going to get the shaft. Never. So what do they do? They want to make our life a little more difficult. They want to make your life a little more difficult, meaning the homeowner who's trying to short sale. And then, of course, we still are able to push it through. It just It's going to take time. It's frustrating. Don't get me wrong. It's frustrating for the homeowner who wants out because they've already moved on emotionally and mentally. They're out of the property. They want out. They just want to put it behind them. So they're, they're getting stressed out because it's taking forever. The second mortgage company is trying to get every dollar they can to save a little bit of face. And the first mortgage company don't want to give up any money. So eventually, you got to negotiate it to let everybody see that this is the best deal going for everybody. And if it doesn't, some deals fall apart. And that's unfortunate because ultimately then you're, you're asking the, the homeowner to file bankruptcy and say, you know what, I'm done with you guys. I'm not going to deal with this anymore. So you never know what the motivations are for the mortgage holders, the loan may be insured. There may be a reason that they want to get a, uh, a judgment against the property. There may be a reason that they want to do what they're doing and holding up the short sale and telling us, you know, go fly a kite because we're not ever going to accept $100,000 where we get paid nothing. And we hear that all the time. So we keep going back, we keep going back, we keep going back, and we keep trying everything we can to get this deal through because if it's in our client's best interest, we're gonna keep pushing. We're not just gonna walk away. They said no. Well, the second mortgage said no, so we're done. No, that's not what you hired us for. So it's a good question. 